to why in the morning if it's tuesday it's entrepreneurship tuesday at y244 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at michelle ashira is where you can find me across all my social in this particular session we dive into an interview that looks at i am not sure if it's urban farming because having a conversation with my guest it has brought it up to also interior deco so if welcome and william same when you when you look at your kitchen and you like uh up and i can plant some vegetables i can plant uh, uh, some plants you know kitchen gardens this is a conversation for you so stick around because uh, we have so much information coming your way so in, in studio i am joined by uh, njoki kamau and uh, she's a plant enthusiast definitely that I, that one i can assure you <laughs> and she's also the founder of alpha plants thank you very much uh, njoki for creating time to be with us thank you happy tuesday happy tuesday how Michelle. are you feeling this morning I'm happy. Uh -huh. I'm happy it is raining. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, rain for a plant enthusiast is mm -hmm. a blessing. Yay! All the way. So I'm, I'm very happy. Right. I'm very happy. It's, it's very good weather to grow things now. Mm -hmm. And I'm also happy that I'm here. Thank mm -hmm. you for this opportunity. I'm looking forward to having a great session. You're very much welcome. Thank you. Yes, you're yeah. a plant enthusiast. Yes, I am. So tell us a little bit of a background information of Unjoki is and also, mm. uh, yeah. Who Njoki is? Who Njoki is? Uh, Njoki Kamau is, uh, first of all, I'm a mother of two, mm -hmm. a boy and a girl, mm -hmm. and I'm also a wife, and I am an accountant and a teacher. All right. Then, uh, above all those, I'm also a plants enthusiast. Mm -hmm. um, I developed interest for plants when I was very young. I was born in, in the village in Moranga. Uh, I come from a place called Ishishi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in, uh, there, my parents were farmers, so they raised us from farming. They, they they paid our school fees and everything from farming, and so I got the basics of farming from that, and I developed an interest in that. Uh, mm -hmm. Just normal normal growing of things, and I think as a person, it was there was also a natural liking for plants because I remember when I was five years old I had a small garden and one time my dad had grown cabbages and they all failed but mine did well so I sold to him mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and even if he paid me one bob <laughs> it was a big thing mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the only one within my siblings that had money so yeah so growing things has been within me and in me um, the other thing is that I went to school I went to Mugwai Girls High School mm -hmm. and uh, from that I went to Strathmore school i did accounting and after that i joined the university of nairobi and took education uh, so i have a bachelor's degree in education oh wow yeah. all right yeah. thank you for that brief uh, background now from the point of you're passionate about plants definitely mm -hmm. so how did that transition to you studying a whole business around it yes um so what happened immediately after school i i, I got a job as an accountant and you know you are told go to school get a job mm -hmm. so i got a job as an accountant and i was very happy i, I was i was working I'm, I'm still i am with a very uh, great organization mm -hmm. and uh, but i did not have much time to 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 practice my hobby for business okay. so within me i kept fe feeling like i would do something else that gratifies me so uh covid came and we had a bit more of time on our hands. And it was time for me to sit back and think of what else can I do, probably supplement my income, because at the time of COVID, we had pay cuts, we were at home, we had much more time. So I, I did a lot of thinking, a lot of trying to figure out what I could do. I knew I loved plants, I knew I loved everything about plants, but I couldn't really point at what point do I start. So what I did, I went on researching on what are people doing around gardening. One, I realized that people were now embracing gardening. People are now conscious of their health mm -hmm. and people are now uh, loving the idea of having a plant and being at home, everyone else being at home, they were starting to notice, oh, this place needs something. Yes. Yes. Especially when you're uh, in your house. In your, yes. You'd be like, yes. I, I need yes. a I have a free particular yes. space, we yes. can add something there. Yes, in fact, if I could tell you about my first client, my mm -hmm. first client told me that they, they, they just created their home office and they realized that from where they got, they, you know, they were moving, they were not buying new furniture, they were moving, a they were converting a table into an office. So they realized that space that they moved the table from needed something. So they, she asked me, what, what, what would I put here? Do mm -hmm. I put a wall hanging, a, an art or something? I told her, put a plant. And that's, that, that happened to be my very, very first client. So, yeah, really, um, it was about, it was about, uh, just growing something 
and there's so much in, in or rather there's so much within me about you know putting a seed down into the soil and it comes out and it's food or it's a beautiful flower or it's 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 a tree or you will in or it's a fruit tree or in a sense of yeah? fulfillment yes you okay. feel very very fulfilled and even sometimes when you even do it for business you i realize that the gratification is not even in the money the gratification is in that achievement okay. of this food this food and it's healthy food so and, and you got to grow that yeah totally organic and also yes. environmental mm. yes. friendly yes all right so from the point where you've done your market research what you get mm. what guys do in the same industry mm. when it comes to plants and everything mm. so what did you decide to settle on so what does alpha plant deal with yes alpha plants alpha plants is a business venture so when i did my research i realized i could do first of all i wanted a business that uh wouldn't take so so much of my time on the ground because remember I was still employed and I did not want to cheat my employer. Maybe with time I would transition at that point, this, this was my thinking, with time I would transition into the business but I wanted something that I could do and not take up, take up so much of my time. That was number one and number two I wanted an authentic idea. So what I did is um, I sat down and decided to divide it into three three arms. So Alpha Plant has three arms. There is an arm of landscaping, which is quite technical. Mm -hmm. There's the biggest of them, which is the urban kitchen gardening, mm -hmm. uh, which, which, which we do organic foods. And there is the indoor plants, which we, we do for homesteads, you know, in, in the, in, within the living spaces, in the homesteads, and in corporates in the offices in the office spaces so with um, the biggest arm of it which is now the urban kitchen gardens uh this is where we install we come up with a setup uh like when we come when you when you contact us the first thing we do we come for a site visit we want to see the space that you have and then from that we are able to design something for uh, a garden out of it. it it may even be on concrete it may be on your balcony on your rooftop uh, it may be on your backyard mm -hmm. or even a small chamber somewhere that you have. So with that, we'll be able to design what, what, what suits your need. We also have a conversation with you to understand mm -hmm. what exactly do you want. Do you want food mm -hmm. uh, for just for household consumption? Do you want, I have, I have people who've come to me because they want to um, be a bit more, to adopt a bit more of a healthy lifestyle. They want herbs, they want spices, they want to lose weight, they want to check on what they eat. So we, 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 when we understand that, we are able to design for you the garden plus the, the, the plants that you need. So we will be doing, if it's vegetables, and we really recommend that uh, you consider taking the traditional veg vegetables. So we'll be planting for you managus, uh, tereres, spinach, of course, uh, kills, mm -hmm. uh, some we have even done uh, in the Rema. I don't know if I don't know what the English word is. Okay, the is. all what those. Are the they are traditional vegetables. Oh, traditional yes. vegetables. So, so anything yeah. can be planted on your on your kitchen garden. Because I think yes. like most question will be like, can I really plant anything that I want in my kitchen garden? Yes, yes, anything. Basically, yes. I don't see what. Yes, but we'll also consider the environment, the where you are at. We'll also look at the aesthetics of it. So mm -hmm. we want to create a really beautiful something uh, garden mm -hmm. that will not mean to you that will not mean to you mess will not mean to you all those things so it will be very well done and neat and organized and also it will even the way we arrange the crops on the garden uh, is going to be very very nice and very attractive okay but yes basically everything uh, Jackie, you know that uh, as you're talking and you being passionate about plants yeah, and yeah. bringing out a business out of it mm -hmm. someone who's watching this conversation and they also into this uh, space where they love the you know uh, urban farming also mm -hmm. when it comes to plants and they mm -hmm. want to get to jump into this uh, sort kind of business mm -hmm. but they don't know how to go about the aspect of just uh, uh, understanding the like the skills dynamics when it comes to mm -hmm. plants arrangement mm -hmm. the layout so yes. how do you how did you get your skills on that Wow. Well, yeah um, first of all I'm quite artistic naturally I'm artistic number two I did a lot of reading and a lot of research I wanted to understand which 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 crop goes with what which plant goes together with what, which what can you plant as companion plants what 
so what what does well where what are the environments for this type of plant like i can i could tell you um my ruth uh, um the, the the guest who was here before me yes uh she she told us that uh kills grow almost a anywhere mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yes there are those that grow almost anywhere and there are those that you really have to research and find out and even some create a condition for them like put up nets or a small sort of greenhouse for them to do very well so i had to do a lot of research around that and that is what i would recommend have the knowledge mm -hmm. knowledge is a in fact is the biggest asset for this business the knowledge and the skill and that you have to learn uh and unfortunately we do not probably have so much time to go to school and learn and sometimes even with the school you don't really get there's a gap between what you learn and what you get on the ground so mm -hmm. the best thing is do the research do a lot of self-teaching go to the ground and see what is what is happening try to grow something somewhere you know what you're interested in try to grow it and see how it does observe just empower yourself with as much knowledge as possible also speak to people who are in the business mm -hmm. or people who are doing uh, the same thing as you are aspiring and they'll be able to guide you they'll be able to i was lucky to meet fantastic people who introduced me into business who are mentoring me who are telling me don't do this do a don't do b and really knowledge is everything and for me it was investing in that knowledge that the business is 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 is, is propelling all right mm -hmm. and when you're starting off uh when it comes to capital uh how did you go about that and did you start as a as a as a sole proprietor or did you have like a team okay uh the question of capital in fact i was thinking about my wow the capital here uh, uh is almost zero mm -hmm. it's really almost zero um what 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 you need and what you need really is the knowledge that's number one when you have the knowledge number two and for me how i started or rather my business model was more into i looked at where i was at and i wanted to work with what i had mm -hmm. um and what i had was not money but the the passion and and uh, some space uh in my home so that is where i started and that's what i had so in terms of capital i i i, I invested in relationship networking with people who are in the business and who would partner with me uh like um i told you i do landscaping landscaping mm -hmm. is quite technical and quite artistic and it's a whole it's a whole scope on its own so for me to be able to achieve on landscaping i i needed i sat down and listed what i needed and what i needed was one i needed nurseries that i could partner with that would give me flowers and plants and trees and all those things that mm -hmm. come with it That's, that was number one number two i needed um a nursery that was doing organic food that i could get the seedlings from mm -hmm. that was number two mm -hmm. and number three i needed people who were making flower pots mm -hmm. and and uh, of different types and 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 and, and i partnered with all those mm -hmm. people i went mm -hmm. around looking for them and god was gracious with me uh, he gave me very very good people fantastic people who are willing to support my dream and we partnered and that's how i started so for me i did not invest like a hundred thousand or fifty thousand mm -hmm. i just started it was by that social capital yeah, that social capital and then i now uh, did uh, social media marketing i remember with that, that my first client the mm -hmm. one i told you we did a plant for so she she told me um when we did when i recommended she told me go find a plant that is uh, that will suit and she told me don't mind about the budget so i went and looked for the best mm -hmm. the best pot and the best plant and we put it in that space we took a photo and i posted it i sent it to my friend and told them look this is what i'm doing i'm now alpha plants this is what i'm doing and that brought business right. so that was the beginning and with that client she, she paid me a deposit so really i did not invest money in terms of capital but i did in a lot of investment in terms of researching and getting the knowledge and getting the social capital mm -hmm. yeah all right mm -hmm. when it comes to having proper or increase in yields like mm -hmm. uh, uh, at the end of the day and uh, what are a couple of measures that you take um to increase yield yes and uh, uh, looking at the aspect <laughs> of also uh, reducing on expenditure okay yeah okay yes um so what i have done um is the uh, my business works best when I, I look at the economies of scale. When I buy more, 
I get bigger discounts mm -hmm. when I buy more of uh, so what I do I do a lot of marketing yeah I do a lot of marketing and I need I, I understand that I need to be buying like a wholesale buyer from my my partners who are now the nurseries for me to be able to get bigger discounts and and that reduces the costs even for my pricing of the product mm -hmm. as I, I i do the landscaping for a client or yeah. as i do the kitchen gardens or as i supply the indoor plants so meaning that because i'm buying in bulk i get a better discount and i am able to sell competitively to my clients so there's no middleman no 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 <laughs> okay. no middleman it's just me and my partner and the client okay yeah okay. and 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 sometimes it's such a model, it's such a beautiful model for me that mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm even able to compete with my, my own partner sometimes mm -hmm. eh? because they give me, we are able to work out those discounts and mm -hmm. my clients are also happy. Right. Yeah. The other aspect that I'd like to mention Please of, do. This, yeah, <laughs> of this is that um, with my model, I'm mm -hmm. able to get the best, you know, because, because I'm not restricted to one nursery that I get plants from. You mm. see, if I started a nursery for myself today for plants, uh, I would have to sell my plants, whether they are good or bad. But now I go out to the market, I will buy the best spinach, mm. uh, spinach seedlings, I'll buy the best um, palm trees if I'm doing landscaping, I'll buy the best grass if I'm doing, uh, when I'm doing landscaping, I'll buy the best indoor plants because I have the opportunity, the chance to choose from my, 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 my social capital, the network that mm -hmm. I have created. So that also works for me on the upside because I'm able to give you the best competitively and, and, and I do not have to incur so much in you know, setting up the, the, best, the behind, the back end. All right. Yeah. And when it comes to, for someone who wants to get into this particular yes. business, mm -hmm. when it's, or even urban farming in general, yes. Yes. so what are, what are a couple of steps when it comes to, you know, proper planning and mm. uh, looking, setting up proper planning and uh, just having the proper projection before you actually even embark when you, putting your seed on the ground when mm -hmm. you talk about uh, probably the kitchen garden in this mm. case. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, the proper planning, uh, especially for the kitchen garden, number one is to understand uh, your client needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do they want food just for the household? Do they want some health? You know, you need to understand what what they have. Number two, um, uh, you ask for someone who would want to start this. They need to be passionate about it. And number three, they need to understand the benefits or they need to understand the plants. They need to know what does, other than filling your stomach, what does, what does, does a spinach do mm -hmm. to your health? Uh, what does a mint do to your health? So they need to understand those health benefits uh, for any plant for a kitchen garden. So that way they're able to, to put up a solution that sit, suits their client needs. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, and that, that really boils down to learning to investing in knowledge and a lot of research eh, so that they understand and they meet that need. Eh? So that's the, the, the step number one. Number two, in the, mm -hmm. into the planning, they need to have the source of um, authentic and organic products, uh, seedlings in this case, or seeds. They need to have that. And it's very, very important that they research or they invest in that. Because if you're not, if you're, if you're getting it wrong at the seed level, you're getting it wrong all the way. Mm -hmm. So you have to get it right at the seed level. And the other thing is in, in um, the budgeting for the project. Eh? So they need to, to budget for the project and know how to do the quotation so that they are not overcharging, undercharging uh, and all that. And they need to stick to that so that they're able to deliver on the project. And lastly, they need to be very professional. Um, when, we are, when we are doing, you realize that uh, there's a difference. There's a difference in, th there's a difference in the way we at the urban setup mm -hmm. look at uh, want to be treated, uh -huh. uh, rather want to, you know, there's a way and, and, and there's, a, there's really a difference. They need to be very professional, they need to provide a professional service and they need to be also to, to be ready to follow up with those gardens. They need to be able, it's not just about putting a seed down, you need to be able to see that seed to the point of harvesting. 
Yeah, so they need to provision for that even in their planning that yes, I've set up a garden for Michelle. Uh, next week I'll be going to visit the garden to see what it needs or it is okay or whether she needs to add something. You know, in another three weeks I still need to have to go back. From especially for me, when I set up a kitchen garden, I will make sure I visit you at least four times and the first the fourth time we will be having. Oh, you guys offer maintenance also. Yes, we do maintenance and. Uh, and, and we do it for free. Oh, it's right. in the passion. Okay. Yeah. So we will visit. Uh, we will. We will. We will advise. We will help as much as we can. And for me, I look forward to the first harvest. Oh. So I will come to. We do the first harvest together. Together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's usually like a celebration. Oh yeah. And mostly it's in about four, four weeks, five weeks. Uh, yeah. And I feel like this conversation breaks a lot of misconception when it yes. comes to farming because mm. people think like you know it's just putting the seed and just mm. watering it mm -hmm. and. Hail and mm. wait for the harvest, mm. but there's a lot of uh, uh, thought through the process that yes. you have to put in yes. planning and just uh, projecting your produce and everything. Mm. So let's look at um, when it comes to just uh, the indoors planting. I feel like it's an interior deco now. We're going mm. in a sort of an interior yeah. deco mm. uh, setup. So what is the what are a couple of uh, the right plants and how do you go about it? Yes. Um how we go about it with the interior uh, the indoor plants eh? mm -hmm. this one you 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 need to have uh, a, a, an, an artistic mind to some extent and also understand the plants and their needs so their plants um, or rather how we go about it is we look at uh, the space and we look at their factors that come into play like the the, the level of lighting uh, the accessibility to sunlight. So some plants will do better near a window, a window. Others will do better at a balcony. Others will be okay in the dark. Others will be okay better in the bathroom because there is moisture. Mm -hmm. uh, so for us, we look at the environment the, and the space. And some of the plants that really, like uh, we have um, ferns, fern, fern, uh, the plants called ferns, they do very well in the bathrooms as long as they can access some lighting. Uh, we have a plant, plant called snake plant mm -hmm. that will survive anywhere in the house <laughs> and it's very it's one of the leading air purifiers okay so it, so really even in the bedroom you're okay oh, anywhere right. and there's the most common of them all which is the money plant the one that climbs Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that one will also do with the minimal lighting and in the house uh, as long as you give them the right nutrients. So what I do with my plants, especially the indoor plants, and I also do this with the kitchen gardens, is I plant all my plants with compost. Mm -hmm. The medium is not soil, it's compost. Uh, that The compost is um, decomposed organic matter. So when you put together um, all the cuttings from the forest and anywhere you put them together they decompose and they become very healthy medium for planting any plant. Oh, right. yeah. I like the fact that apart from just uh, creating beautiful spaces they, they come with the brings out the beautiful uh, the smell the scent. Yes. So yeah so it's a <laughs> double yes. sword. Yes. So let's look at um, when it comes to just branding and making you uh, making you actually uh, uh, be quite different out here in the market space. So, a couple of things that you do, yeah. or what separates you from the rest? Okay, yeah. Um, number one, I do a lot of social media marketing. Lately, I have uh, I have found a lot of referral, referrals too. As as, as the business grows, I'm getting a lot of. Um, I was referred by so and so who you did this and this and and, and that that is seeming to also be working. But uh, what I have invested in is social media marketing. So what I do is I create content content by the day for my social media pages. Mm -hmm. So anything I do, is it delivering? May I'll take a photo of my pickup with the plants inside and I'll post on and then somebody will, somebody else out there will be like, oh, you also do deliveries? Yes. Um, I, I, I have, I, I have um, set up a place within my home where I, when I prepare the small, small plants, we call them succulents, in some small beautiful pots, you'll find them on my page. Uh, where I take photos from. So there I have a camera, I do a nice setup and I take photos and then I post them on my social media platforms. So really the marketing is on social media. Uh, the referrals is now coming up as the business grows. All right, yeah. and how has the COVID-19 affected the demand and supply when it comes to this particular business? Um, hmm. 
I must say um include also the lockdown the, lock the current affected. lockdown yes. yeah yeah um it, it's interesting it's mm -hmm. interesting that uh, this business came up at a time when people needed it mm -hmm. as much as uh people were strained on their cash flows and everything uh, they were willing to spend on plants. I mean, it's the thing that they were doing at the time. They were at home. Yeah, they time on your hands. Yes. You'd be looking yes. at your space yes. design and be like, I need yes. this, I need yes. that. Yes. Yes. Change that. Yes, yeah. yes. People, people will tell you, you know, I've never really thought that this corner would give me some spinach. Can we do something? Yeah, because mm -hmm. that it, it, was at that, it was the right opportunity for them. However, with the third wave, uh, we are experiencing a bit of uh, holding back because and I think it really it's because people are on a wait and see. They they are not sure what what's going to happen next. So in terms of spending, so you'll find that there are a lot of inquiries coming in. Can I do A? Can I do B? Can I you know? But let me wait and see if um, my employer will say that we are now closing again, or if they are not sure. This so there is a level of uncertainty since last week, which I have observed. But it's not to mean that we will not be in business. I believe we've been in business. Mm -hmm. We will continue, however little, however much, we will continue. All right, yeah. and what are a couple of measures that you've taken to just make sure that the business is sustainable during this time? During this time, yes. Mm -hmm. um, some of the, of, the, of the measures that I have taken, uh, one is I have a plan. I have a business continuity plan in place, and that is um, one, um, um, I, like I told you, the source. Mm -hmm. The source. Uh, I, I, I have, um, have ensured that me and my that network for the nurseries where I get my plants, we are operating. We are operating, they are my partners and we are operating. We are in operation and things are continuing. We have also reduced on um, some of the expenses that we could reduce on. Um, so uh, we, we, we are more into conserving energy, conserving the waters, conserving how we spend, so that uh, we ensure that we run, uh, we, we run the business a, a little longer. And also the other thing that we've done to ensure that uh, we are continuing is that we continue to market, we continue to make plans to be on the faces of our clients and tell them that we, we are here, we are doing it. And we are doing a bit more of supporting the clients that are already within our portfolio. So that, uh, because we have a bit more of time now, we, in terms of, uh, like I told you, the business is slowing down because of the uncertainty. Mm -hmm. So those that were already with us, we are mm -hmm. doing a lot of supporting. We're even running um, um, a program where we are doing crop rotation for free. So mm -hmm. if you had a garden with us, a kitchen garden with us, and you have probably, you're now tired of your spinach, we'll be coming and planting something else for free. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Very nice. Interesting. Thank you. All right. A couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way this journey. It's financial, sorry? Financial lessons. Lessons, yeah. yes. Ah, uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an accountant, mm -hmm. so I, I, I account for every coin that comes in. But I, as, as the accountant I am, I also made a, mis a few mistakes when I was starting because I would get excited when the money comes and probably spend, spend it in the business, spend it in the business without a plan. Like I would go into a shop and find these nice spots and buy all of them without a plan. So mm -hmm. I, I have learned that every expenditure for me has to have a plan. Mm -hmm. I, had, I need to see the whole, it has to fall within the strategy. I have a full business strategy, so it has to fall within the strategy. If it's not within, however beautiful, it's not happening. We're not doing yeah, impulse we are, buying. Yeah, we're not doing impulse buying. Mm -hmm. And for me, because of uh, my passion is so strong, mm -hmm. it's so strong within me. So I could be walking around and walking in someone's nursery and I find beautiful plants and I buy them. So for me, I, it's, I have had to learn the discipline, discipline to say, <laughs> It's not now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have seen you have it. Uh, when I get a client, I'll buy it. Not mm -hmm. now. So uh, before then, I would just buy for my home, and then it's excessive. I don't have space. Uh, you know, yeah. All right. So I've learned the discipline of weight. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So the vision. How is the vision looking like? A couple of years down the road. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the vision is. Um, to have sustainable gardens within the urban space. Mm -hmm. If I can meet. Even 50% of the market, I'll be very happy because one, it means